All right, guys. So uh, we're going to replant these beautiful little Venus flytraps. Um, first thing that we need to do in order to repot them is we need to create some soil for them. Uh, and by soil, I mean not really soil at all, but uh, a uh, media that's completely drained of any of its minerals because that's what these guys like. Uh, them coming from the bogs of the North and South Carolina area, uh, they don't really have any minerals in the, the dirt that they're in. So we're going to recreate that the best that we can. Um, just a heads up too, guys, if you don't want to go through the process of creating the soil, which I don't blame you because it can be kind of a pain, um, you can actually buy this pre-mixed. Uh, there's even a, a place on Amazon that sells a really nice pre-mix that I've actually used before a while back, and it's, uh, it's good stuff. So uh, there's a link in the description for that if you guys uh, don't want to have to go through this entire process with uh, the perlite, the silica sand, and the uh, peat moss. So uh, just a heads up on that if you want to go that route. Uh, much easier if you're just planting one or two plants. Uh, this is probably better if you've got a lot of plants to plant, um, or you know if you want to just do this for the fun of it, which I'm going to show you how to do today. So. Uh, first thing you need to do, and this is kind of optional, you don't have to do this, but I got the um, peat moss in here. Right now, I'm gonna put some distilled water in there and let that soak for just a few minutes. Um, peat moss is kind of be, can be tolerant of water and it doesn't really absorb very well, so it kind of helps if you let it sit for a little bit uh, with that water in there. Um, but real quick, uh, just to make sure you guys understand what you need here, this is uh, peat moss, I know that's upside down and I'm sorry about that. Uh, this is black gold brand. It doesn't really matter the brand, but the thing that you really need to watch for uh, is the, let me see if I can find it here, is the percentage of um, peat moss in here. And now I'm having trouble finding it, but uh, somewhere on the back here it does say that it is supposed to be 100% uh, peat moss. There's no additives in this, okay? Uh, you don't want any additives in it. Uh, it's really important. So make sure that when you do get a peat moss, you get some without any of the additives. Otherwise, those additives, uh, like fertilizer or other minerals, can uh, burn the roots and kill your uh, Venus flytrap. So what we're going to shoot for today for the soil um, is we're going to shoot for uh, five parts peat moss. And then we're going to go for three parts silica sand and then two parts perlite. So um, the reason I have the silica sand right here in a pot, which silica sand is basically just uh, ground up quartz, really fine. Um, and it just helps create aeration in the dirt and soil so that the, the water can drain through there really easily. Um, and then also the perlite helps absorb some of that water and distribute it. Uh, so it doesn't, uh, it keeps your plant nice and, and saturated with water, but it doesn't create that, that root rot uh, problem that a lot of people have it that ends up killing their Venus flight traps. But, so one thing I do that's probably a little overkill is I actually rinse my sand and my perlite. So that's why I have this in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, after I get done putting the, the distilled water in with the um, peat moss, I'll let that soak for a minute. I'm, I'm gonna start rinsing this silica sand off. Uh, and I'll go ahead and put my, my video camera on a tripod here in just a minute so I have two hands to be able to do all this. But, um, so you got the perlite that'll go into the silica sand. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to swish the water back and forth and drain into there um, and then I'll kind of keep rinse and repeat literally a few times until that the water's clear and it seems like all the all the stuff has gone off of the the silica sand and, and uh, perlite. Uh, the last thing I want to mention real quick is distilled water. Guys do not use tap water. Tap water will likely kill your venus flytrap. Um, re same reason that the uh, any type of normal soil will kill it. It has too many minerals in it and those minerals will just destroy the roots. It'll fry them and they won't be able to grow. Um, like I said, these guys need no minerals. Um, they get all of their energy from the sun, and then if needed, they catch animal, or I'm sorry, they catch insects for um, extra fertilizer. So you can kind of think of the sun as what helps them grow, and then you can think of bugs that just sort of helps enhance their growth. Uh, so you can actually grow these guys without any bugs at all, but that's a topic for a different day. Let's go ahead and start mixing up this uh, soil for you guys. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get some uh, distil distilled water in with the peat moss so we can start letting that soak a little bit. I'm going to dump a little bit, but not too much. You don't want it to be completely soggy. It's kind of hard to work with then. So just get a little bit of water in there, mix it up. 
you might need to pour a little bit more. Um, you can just feel how this just absorbs that. Um, which is what these plants really like. So I need to actually need to add a little bit more in there. Now it's starting to get, there we go, see now it's starting to get more of a, almost like a mud type look. And you don't want it to be completely muddy, but just a little bit. You want it to be able to still, you know, fall apart a little bit. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we're just going to let that sit there for a minute. Dirty hands, probably should have worn a glove. Oh well. If your hands aren't dirty, what are you doing, right? Okay. Let's go ahead and open the pair of light. Uh oh. Probably should have bought out a pair of scissors. You guys can't see me struggling. Oh, good. You can't see me struggling opening the, the pair of light. That's good. Okay. Okay. Put some of the pair of light in there. kind of see the dust coming off that. That's kind of the stuff that I want to just rinse off a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and dump some water in here. I probably should... I don't really have anything bigger than this. <laughs> and I probably should have used something bigger, but what are you going to do? Like a, like, a, like a kid's play tub or something would work probably significantly better. Um, but just remember, you don't want to do this with tap water, you want to do this with distilled water. Okay, just go ahead and get it in there, soak it really good. The distilled water. Uh, okay, now the thing is, is you don't want to reuse this water, okay? Because this water is going to have all the crap on it that you don't want to be in with your plants. and. Like I said, ideally this tub would have been a little bit bigger so that I could have maybe sloshed it around a little bit. Um, so I kind of misjudged that. And I actually think I have a little too much silica sand in here, but that's all right. So let's go ahead and dump the water here. Get some of that perlite out too. Bring it back over. There, you can see how that water's kind of dirty looking. It's getting a lot of those impurities out of there, a lot of those minerals that you don't want to go in there with your Venus fly traps. Okay. There we go. Do a quick skim job here, real quick. Let's get to save some of this stuff. Now, guys, I know this is a little overkill. I get that. I'm sure I'll get some people in the comments here talking about how much overkill this is for creating the soil. I don't see too many people doing this, but one thing I'm faced with is that I'm in a climate that's going to be a little bit harder to grow these, so I just kind of want to do everything that I can to make sure and give them the best fighting chance that I can. So, okay. So I'm going to go ahead now, um, now that I've got, see how dirty that water is though? Look at that. So all that stuff isn't going to be going in with my plant now, so that's kind of nice. So let's go ahead and move this out of the way. over there. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take this. I'm going to go ahead and... Now oh, this has been soaking for a little bit. Um, this perlite, this is the stuff that you guys see in uh, like like potting soil mix. Um, it absorbs water really well and it distributes the water, so um, that's what that is in case you're wondering, but um, you can definitely do some research on perlite if you want, but let's go ahead and this in here you want this to be it's almost going to be 50 50 with the perlite and the and the silica sand it's going to be just about a 50 50 mix here i think i'm going to have a little bit of extra sand and perlite here but let me see let's have one more big scoop and we'll mix it up and see kind of where we're at here
Put it on there. There we go. Look at that now. I'm just eyeing it. I'm not actually measuring it. So I should probably bring this over here. Sorry about that. Um, I hope you can actually see into there what's going on here. You want to get that nice and mixed up. Nice thing about having the, the full brick of peat moss is that if you don't if you don't think you got your ratio quite right, you can certainly add a little more peat moss or I made a little extra of this. So what I'll probably do here is I'll probably, this looks like it's pretty good actually. Um, I'll probably set this aside and then make, when I'm done with all this, I'll make one more little um, batch of it with the peat moss and that so that I have some to set aside for uh, replanting whenever. So. All right, dirty hands again, okay. So what we have here, folks, I wanna break up those pieces, is we have a nice aerated media for um, growing your Venus flytraps. It's really light and fluffy. Um, water's gonna go through that really well. Um, it's gonna retain water, but it's also going to drain water, which is what you need, which is kind of the tricky thing with these plants and why a lot of people fail at growing them is they put them in you know, soil or uh, the other thing that works really well that I don't have today, but I know a lot of people like using it is the, the long fiber sphagnum moss. Um, and they'll add some perlite to that. Uh, and it's kind of more, it's a lot lighter than this, um, but that also really absorbs water really well. Um, so that's definitely a good option too. Um, and I've seen a lot of people using that, lots of videos. So if you want to go that route, you can certainly check out and find a video. Maybe I'll make a video later using just the sphagnum moss, but um, there you go. Beautiful. Nice and mixed up. We are ready to plant our Venus flytraps. Let's do it. All right, guys. There it is. So there we go. They are repotted now. They're watered. Hoping that they're going to be a little happier. That was the before and after. Okay. Well, uh, I just wanted to thank you all again for watching. Um, again, subscribe if uh, you enjoyed this. Uh, give the video a like. Anything you guys do helps me a lot and helps me get this thing off the ground and going and helps me save and love more of these uh, beautiful little plants. So, uh, yeah, thank you for visiting and thank you for being here. And um, Oh, I just wanted to say too real quick that I'm going to be posting updates with these guys. I um, wanted to show you uh, how they are going probably by, I don't know, like a monthly basis, either monthly or if something dramatic happens with them then I'll probably do a, you know an update video um, but yeah you can see how these guys grow and uh, you can check out I'm going to be doing the um, the uh, Saras Saracenia here pretty soon um, as well I'm gonna video that one so the, that I'll, I'll link that in the description and then the the um, the, um, the Panthes I'll also uh, link in the description as well so I'm gonna go ahead and replant both of those and uh, we'll see how they all do together Thanks, guys.